This is for the calculator papers for GCSE, mathematics and numeracy. Once again, before you start the exam, look at the front covers and work out how far you need to get to get a grade C, which is about half of the marks in the paper. On the front cover, it also tells you which question has the extra two marks for the way you communicate your answer. It's really important that you complete that question. When it's time to start the exam, turn over the first page and write down any facts that your teachers asked you to remember. The conversions are really useful. Now, before you start to write anything else, take time to look through the paper, making a note of any multiple choice questions, which you always answer, and also which question has the extra two marks. Now, for a calculator paper, it's really important that we become efficient with the way we answer these sort of questions. So learn how to use your calculator. The display must match the question. And if it does, you've done it efficiently. Look at this question here. Type into the calculator exactly what you see in the question so that you get the correct answer. Taking a closer look at our calculators, we can see the SD button, which changes a fraction into a decimal. That's really useful. The fraction button, where you can type a fraction exactly as it is. The power button. And then there are a few others, like the percentage button, which can be quite useful. And then this strange looking button that actually allows us to use minutes and time. If you want to find out more about some of these buttons and their function, check out my calculator hacks video. It's really good to help prepare you for maths calculator examinations.